Hello all, my name is Sudhir Rahman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about the virtual machines like what are virtual machines, why they are very important to us and we are actually going to create the virtual machine using the Microsoft Azure or Azure portal. So let's go ahead and get started. If you remember guys, I already created a virtual machine using the virtual box in the series of machine learning with Python. So for some reasons, I need to use the virtual machine so i installed an application called the virtual box from where i used virtual machine so basically what i actually done is i installed an app called as virtual virtual box and then i installed something called as the ubuntu images so ubuntu files all of the stuff and then i i uploaded those files on the virtual box then i started to use the ubuntu uh, ubuntu operating system as a virtual machine but in this video we are not going to do all of those stuff so we are going to just do that in some steps five to six steps using the azure portal so let's go ahead and get started first of all let's talk about what actually is virtual machine now imagine that you have a powerful computer now a virtual machine is like a computer within a computer now it's a way to create a pretend computer that acts just like a real one even though it's actually a software running on our main computer right now this pretend computer on or a virtual machine can run its own operating system and a software just like a regular computer now it's a handy tool because you can use it to test things without affecting your main computer or you can use it to run different operating systems on the same physical computer now one benefit that we have right now is that for example you have a main computer now you install some application or you are just building developing an app or a browser something like that but you want to test that so it's going to affect in your drives all of those is stuff is going to happen now at the end so there is some problem with your computer now you need to restart reset your computer right so everything is going to be deleted but what if we do that with the virtual machines right we can reset the virtual machine right we can create two three virtual machines and then we can save our the our app or the browser or the project that we are actually working in so that's the benefit with the virtual machine now think of it like having a separate room in your house where you can set up a whole new computer environment complete with its own software files and the settings without needing an extra physical computer now imagine that you have a special computer inside your regular computer for example you have a computer let's suppose it and then you have a special computer inside that computer. Now this special computer can pretend to be any kind of computer you want. It's like having a secret room in your room where you can make a new whole world with its own rules and the and games. Now this special computer is called as the virtual machine, right? Now there are a lot of benefits with the virtual machine. So some benefits are like, so you can create your own virtual machine and you can run some apps. For example, on your main computer, you don't have that much space. Then you can use the virtual machine where you can store your data just by paying the, paying the money. Okay. And then one more one more benefit is that, for example, as I said that if you're running some app or developing an app, so there is some problem with your computer, you can run that on the virtual machines or you can test that on the virtual machines. So there are a lot of benefits of using the virtual machines. So from that time, we were talking about the what are virtual machines, how they are important. Uh, how they are useful all of the stuff but now what actually is virtual machine in the microsoft azure right now virtual machines are really important to us because they let us do a bunch of cool things with computers without needing a lot of physical hardware now imagine that you have a just real one computer but you need to run different types of softwares that might not work well together for example you have some application that you want to download okay you can install it on the windows but sometimes it's going to show you error or it's going not going to work but it's going to it's working well on the ubuntu or linux system right so you can do that by virtual machine you can use the virtual machine and then you can run that app or whatever now now virtual machines let you create the multiple fake computers on the real computer now it's not like you can just create one virtual machine and then use that then delete that and then create again no so how much you want you can create it for example if you want if you want two or three if you want five if you want ten well how much you want you can create it now this is the benefit with the virtual machines for example we are working on three projects then you can create three virtual machines okay with the azure now creating a virtual machine there are a lot of ways but 
creating virtual machine with the azure portal is very simple and very easy to use now as i said i already created the virtual machine using the virtual box so at that time i faced a lot of problems for downloading that and for setting up that but with the azure there are no we are not going to get a lot of problems or we are not going to get any problems so anyhow let's start by creating a virtual machine now as you can see on the computer that we have i already opened portal.azure.com right so it's a dashboard for the azure where we can create the storage accounts or the databases or the virtual machines one more thing i want to say is that virtual machines are also used as the databases where we can save where we can work on our sql server like servers right so these are the benefits now microsoft azure is not we can use that as free so if you are using a microsoft azure for the first time then you can use it as a free trial for two months okay two months or something like 200 dollars credit something like that right now my free trial is ended so that's why i am using the paid version now the paid version is not like you have just paid for one month or two months so it's like how much you are using per virtual machine or what are you creating database or the sql server or you are creating a storage account or the resource group all the stuff now i have the pay as you go which means that for example if i create if i create one virtual machine if i create one virtual machine then it's going to cost me imagine that it's going to cost me around 10 rupees so it's depending on how much i'm creating like how much storage i'm creating what i'm creating and how much how much storage what which operating system i'm using so it's depending on that so it's not only going to take 10 rupees but it's depending on what on what you are creating now before creating a virtual machine i want to show you one thing and that is that uh, you, that is azure price calculator now i'm going to open a new tab and just type azure uh, pricing calculator now this is a place where you can check where you can what you say where you can actually calculate your azure we can where you can actually estimate how much it's going to take right for example let's say that you want to create a virtual machine now on the azure uh, pricing calculator what you have to do is you have to search for the product right now virtual machine is in front of me so i'm going to click on this one virtual machine so virtual machine is added so now let's view it now there are a lot of things that we have to do right now for example now the which operating system which virtual machine that you want to create so you want the virtual machine about the ubuntu or windows so i'm going to choose it as the linux so ubuntu linux so it's going to come all around that now i have i have chosen the operating system the linux now the type is going to be the ubuntu okay now you have to choose the region where you want to save your virtual machine in which data center so you want to save it in india east us or wherever so i'm going to choose the south india where i'm living right now so yeah here i'm going to choose the south south india so we are not actually creating a virtual machine here and we are just estimating how much it's going to take right now i'm going to take the standard i'm going to take the basic because i don't need to create any virtual machine i don't want to work right now so here i'm choosing one core 0.7 gb ram and then 20 gb temporary storage now it's going to take 0.016 per hour so let's calculate it 0.016 usb2 okay let's see so it's going to take 1.33 indian rupee now for example if you are creating a virtual machine whenever you are creating a virtual machine you just see the price okay so if you if you created a virtual machine and then you didn't set down that virtual machine then it might cost you sometimes it not cost you okay so remember that so be careful of that because it's going to be in thousands of rupees so sometimes if you created a virtual machine it will show that just five dollars imagine that you might think yeah it's five rupees but five dollars uh, yeah okay so five dollars is going to be four fifteen rupees right four fifteen indian rupees now this is just five dollars for example now if you have ten ten dollars or one hundred dollars you might just think that this is just hundred rupees so be careful about it so any other see here we have just used the basic tire so i want the instance is one core 0 0.7 gb ram so it's going to choose the if i used per hour now i want the all yeah general purpose i want this one now how many virtual machines i want to create i just want to create only one virtual machine now how many hours you are using now remember that the options that you are seeing here 
you are not going to see these options on the virtual machine when you are creating it right so this is just an estimation for example if if this showed you the five dollars imagine that so it's the just estimated number so it might get the more while creating it the virtual machine or it might get the less so anyhow i have the 730 hours so i don't want the 730 hours so I, what i do is i just give one hour okay now yeah so anyhow now as you can see here on the top here monthly cost i am getting here the so yeah yeah wait i already created a virtual machine two times right so i will delete one virtual machine right now i don't have right so let's create it again so it's taking some time to create now let's view this one as you can see i'm going to give this south india mm, yeah yeah Is it? So here I'm going to choose here the South India and then I'm going to choose the Linux then Ubuntu in the basic version and I want this basic one. I just want this general purpose, I just want it for one hour, right? Now as you can see here the monthly cost is going to be 0 0.02 dollars, which is very very less, right? Now for example, if I give here the 730 hours, 730 hours, right? Now it's showing me the 11, right? 11.68 dollars. Now, if I choose some other place like Central US, it's going to get 13, right? So every time it's going to change. For example, if I use the Windows, it might change. So it didn't change, right? SQL Server. Yeah, it changed to when I gave it the SQL Server, it just changed from $13 to $1,108, $1,108, right? So so be careful of this because it's going to charge you thousands of rupees. Now, if you are using the basic free trial, then you can easy, you can create a virtual machine for you. So anyhow, let's come on the, our actual page portal. Now here I just want to create a virtual machine, right? So for that I will be just typing here the virtual machine. Now after typing, I'm going to get here the virtual machine, right? And then now on this page you are not going to get anything because you have not yet created any virtual machines. So here I'm in the corner I'm just going to click on the create then Azure virtual machine. So it's going to take some time. Now you have to choose what you want to create, virtual machine or all of those stuff. So first of all, you have to choose the subscription. If you are doing using the free trial, then you have to click on the free trial. But if you have purchased for the, the subscription for the Azure, then you have to just choose the pay as you go. After that, we need to create a resource group. So I, we already talked about the resource group in the series of Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, right? So please go and watch that series. Now anyhow, let's create a new resource group so one more thing that we can do is we can create from the here also so in the portal azure where from here click on the resource group and then create a new one so we can do this kind of stuff okay so let's leave this let's create a new here itself and the new is going to be the let's here let, let's create win virtual machine win virtual machine win vm right so this is going to be the new now the virtual machine is going to be let's give here the windows 10 virtual machine okay and then i'm going to choose here the region the south india now availability options we don't need to use anyone just give here the no infrastructure redundancy required now we have the trusted launch virtual machine now it's going to choose here the security now there are a lot of security features here like on the top of trusted launch so these are the things but so it's going to choose the trusted launch virtual machines but I just want the basic level of security for your virtual machines just because I'm just testing here that, that right. Now, which one you want, which virtual machine like for the Ubuntu you want, for the uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, for which operating system the virtual machine you want. Now I'm going to choose, so as you can see here, there are a lot of options that you can use. So I'm going to see all of the images you can see here, right? So yeah, as you can see, you can for, use for the Windows Server, Windows, Microsoft Windows 10, Windows 11, open to server so there are a lot of options so from all of them i'm just going to choose here the windows sorry wait did it went yeah i think it went back again let's create it again so yeah anyhow let's use the existing one which one was yeah we created something called as the mm, win win re win re Okay, it means Windows Resource Group, and then I'm going to give you here the Windows Virtual Machine, Windows 10, and then I have the South 
India then again the standard then now I'm going to choose here the Windows 10 okay so for that what I will do is I'm going to select this then the Windows 10 Pro version 22 head to H2 okay then now after selecting this Windows 10 Pro version you are going to get something like this page now what you have to do is you don't need to select this run with Azure spot account just we need to select the ARM64 is not supported with the selected image we'll be talking about this what is ARM64 x64 later on so anyhow let's give here the size we just want the basic one right so i'm going to give here the standard ds1 so version 2 one vcpu virtual machine cpu then 3.5 gib memory we are getting that if we use this for daily or hours continuously then we are going to get 4815.74 per month rupees right now i have to give here the username so i'm going to give my name and then the password i i have already created a password so now i'm going to confirm here the password so what i have given right now so i will be giving the password that i already created okay sorry okay now it's matching for the password that i have already given right now you don't need to allow you don't need to do all of those stuff now yeah anyhow let's we will be talking about rtp what are them now let's you have to select this one i confirm i have an eligible windows 10 or 11 license with multi multi-tenant hosting right so let's select this one because after creating the virtual machine you are going to get some problems now we have selected all of the stuff right now let's go to the next disks so we don't need to check this stuff but yeah standard best for web servers yeah but we don't need to do this stuff right so it's going to be as it is so i'm not going to change anything in this thing so let's go ahead next yeah next monitoring advantage so one more thing that you can do is on the basic tab itself you just click on the review and create so it's going to just show you how it does look like what are the things that it's going to create now i'm just creating here the one virtual machine now the subscription credit apply here is this 6.5969 yeah, inr per hour right so you can see here i have selected all of the stuff i have created this i have not just created i have just given here the settings now i'm actually going to create the virtual machine just click on the create it's going to take some time for creating right now it's going to it's in the deployment is in progress now guys as you can see here on the screen that my deployment is completed right so it's showing me that yeah your deployment is completed which means that the virtual machine is actually created now i want a lot of ways to create a virtual machine but this is the one way that we can create now we can use the we can create a virtual machine using the cli command line interface so we'll be talking about that later on now let's use the, the virtual machine after creating you can just click on the go to resource that which means that uh, you can see the virtual machine that you have created now guys what you have to do is we have to play, press window r on our computer and then we have to just type ms psc so what it does is it's going to it's going to open the remote desktop connection or we can also type here the remote desktop remote desktop connection so so from two places we can open it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the ipa public ip address and then i'm going to paste it here in this one okay now i'm going to connect this click on the connect now it's asking me the password so I'm okay now let's click on the okay now it's showing me some error so let's leave it let's ignore this now i'm going to click on the yes okay so as you can see here on the screen that my my screen changed just now my screen is just blank right now which means that windows uh, windows virtual machine is actually opening as you can see here that it's actually opening right so let's wait for some time now there's a lot more difference between the windows 10 machine and my actual computer now i'm going to minimize the screen as you can see here this is my actual window okay this is my actual window but when i click on the remote desktop it's opening the virtual machine that we have created called as the uh, win 10 virtual machine windows 10 virtual machine using the azure right so as you can see here now one more thing that you can see is on the top it's showing a, a bar right now when i click on the minimize it's minimizing now as you can see parallelly i'm able to use the windows 10 and windows 11 so same thing for the ubuntu also we can do this we can do this kind of stuff with ubuntu now i'm going to yeah i'm going to do some settings here now yeah so we don't need this we don't need to do a lot of stuff in this one just because this is a virtual machine we can delete this anytime right now let's click on the accept so it's going to take some time for opening 
right yeah as you can see here that our windows our windows 10 virtual machine has been opened now i can use all of the things that i am able to use now if i open the uh, the taskbar okay as you can see here all of the apps are available here like the one node and the microsoft edge now here i am able to use this one so let's open the microsoft edge and see that are we able to use this one or not so let's open youtube.com okay uh yeah so as you can see it's taking some time for opening just because that we have we have created the virtual machine so we are not on our actual computer so i'm going to start without my data yeah yeah okay So here, what I will do is I'm going to open my new tab, new tab, and then just type YouTube.com/slash. I'm going to open my channel. So it's going to open because it's taking the Wi-Fi network from my actual computer that I have. So for my, for example, if I minimize this, as you can see here that my my Wi-Fi is here, right? Now it's also going to connect these things with my com with my virtual machine computer. Now I'm I'm able to do a lot of stuff with this one. Now this is a lot more likely, right? So it's able to open the YouTube channel. So I'm going to mute this one. Yeah, let's open this. As you can see here, there it's able to run a video. Now with that, we can also run the Python programs like by installing the Python. We can do a lot of stuff with this. Now, one more thing that I want to say is that after creating a virtual machine, don't forget to delete it or stop it. For example, right now I created my virtual machine. Now, after all, you need to shut down from here. Is there option? Yeah, you can shut down. You can click on the just shut down or disconnect, and then you could also directly go close it. After that, if you are if you don't want to use this virtual machine again, then you can click on the delete. If you want to delete, but the one thing that you need to do is click on the stop, just because it may cost you. It may cost you many tries many many right just because for example you created the virtual machine but when you are not actually working on the virtual machine then it may cost you a lot of money because it thinks that you are using the virtual machine so in the background it's actually running the virtual machine but you don't know that it's running or it's working or not so now i'm going to close this one so i want to show the way so let's directly close it yeah you want this one yeah okay let's disconnect it now my virtual machine has been closed now it didn't stop as you can see in the virtual machine if i type here the portal.azure.com it opening any page right now here in the virtual machines if i click on this one i'm going to close my first tab yeah click on the windows 10 virtual machine my actual virtual machine now i want to stop this or delete this what i can do is click on the stop yeah now as you can see you are going to get a message that stopping the virtual machine windows 10 win 10 vm that we have created okay now as you can see you can see here the status always you have to check here the status when as you can see it's showing me as the running which is which means that it's actually running right now now if it's to, if it showed you this something called as the stop or something like that which means that it's not running right now so you have to be very careful about that so as you can see here this virtual machine is stopped yeah, you are able to see this so here it's actually yeah as you can see successfully stopped the virtual machine now one more thing that you, if you want to start just click on the start then it's again going to restart the virtual machine so yeah now if you want to delete this just click on this delete then you can delete all of the stuff i'm going to show that also as you can see here it's showing as running which means that we are, yeah as you can see started the virtual machine now i want to delete this just click on the delete okay and then yeah you can choose this you can also choose it to delete associate resources at the time resources that aren't deleted will be your friends yeah let's click on the apply for force delete then click on this one box and yeah you have to select all of the stuff network interfaces public ip address because you have already used this public ip address so just click on the delete now everything is this virtual machine is going to be deleted in some time so any you guys that's all for this video so in today's video we created a virtual machine windows virtual machine same thing you can do with the what you say uh with the ubuntu software or windows 11 itself so if you are getting any errors or any problems so you're going to get so most of the people get the errors or the problems so please leave that in the comment 
so and yeah guys that's all for this video and i hope you liked and enjoyed watching this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe i will see you all in another tutorial thanks for watching goodbye